Hi dear students, uh, today we are going to talk about nematophagus fungi. The term nematophagus fungi, of course you can understand it is something, it is a fungi. And when the term nematophagus means, phagus means eating. So the fungi which eat nematodes, they are referred to as nematophagus fungi. Now, what are nematodes? Nematodes, they are usually considered to be as roundworms. They are non-segmented roundworms of the phylum nematod. And a majority of them are being found to be free living in the soil as well as in the fresh as well as in the salt waters. And usually they have a flexible outer cuticle which will protect them and uh, they move via a muscular system. And you can see that even when we uh, plow the land or plow the sand, you can see that many of the roundworms are being found to within the soil. The earthworms and all that also come under the roundworms and we say that they, uh, what? they add fertility to the soil. Most of these nematodes, uh, they lay eggs and uh, they predominantly have been found to be pathogenic to the anim to the plants. And uh, some of them can be considered also as human parasites as well as animal parasites. And uh, uh, though some of these nematodes add fertility to the soil, uh, majority of them have been found to be parasitic or they have been found to be pathogenic to the plants. And uh, as a control of these nematodes in the soil, there are also be present certain fungi within the soil. And they are referred to as the nematophagus fungi, which will, those are fungi which will eat the nematodes. Now, if you go to look into the general features of nematodes, they are often referred as roundworms, as we had mentioned earlier. But uh, they are not closely related to the true ones. And they are being found to be multicellular insects with a smooth, unsegmented body. These nematode species, they usually feed on the plants and they are so tiny that we need to see a microscope uh, to see them. And the adults often look long and slender, although some species appear to be pear-shaped. And these plant parasites are not the same as the roundworms as the filarial nematodes that will affect the human body or spread diseases and wreak havoc on the immune system. But they are being found to be a little more uh, different type of varieties which will infect the plants. Now, some nematodes, they feed on the outer surface of the plant while the others will burrow into the tissue of the plants. And soil dwelling nematodes are the most common culprits uh, and they can cause sometimes damage to the plant roots, stems, foliage as well as the flowers. Now no matter where they feed, these tiny worms can seriously damage the crops with their sharply pointed mouths puncturing the cell walls. So the real damage occurs when a nematode injects its saliva into the cell from its mouth and then sucks out the cell contents. So the plant cell as such uh, is being parasitized by, the, by these nematodes. So when the plant is being attacked by these parasitic nematodes, uh, sometimes it might show swelling or sometimes a distorted growth and sometimes also there would be an area of dead tissue. So nematodes, uh, in addition to damaging the plant tissues, they can also carry certain viruses as well as bacterial diseases and inject them into the plants. And the feeding wounds they make also provide an easy entrant points for various other bacteria and fungi also. So there arises an essential need to control these parasitic nematodes which grow on the plants. Unless and until they are being controlled, the plant tissue or the growth of the plant will get affected. And it's here that the process of nematophagy comes into play. Nematophagy is nothing eating of nematodes by the fungi. And there could be different fungi. There could be predaceous fungi, which will, you know, what is predation? Or it might be nematophagus, like 
eating the fung nematodes or it could be nematode trapping a nematode trapping means it will not eat the nematode but it will trap the nematode so all these fungi which will help in the control of nematodes uh, in different manners have been studied here and nematophagus means the one which can eat the the fungi which can eat the nematodes the fungi will usually mechanically attack and as well as kill the worms resulting in the conception of the particular worm they these fungi are been found to be microfungi as we mentioned earlier they can they will capture it kill it and sometimes even digest the nematodes and they use specialized mycelial structures now for example some traps they, we refer them to as traps or spores which will trap these vermiform nematodes or the hyphal tips uh, to attack the nematode eggs and cysts before penetration into the nematode cuticle invasion and digestion and you can see that uh, more than 200 species of uh, fungi have been found to be known and they differ in their saprophytic as well as in their parasitic ability although many of the trap forming as well as the egg parasiting fungi can survive in the soil saprophytically the endoparasites are most more dependent on the nematodes as nutrients and many of these nematophagous fungi are been found to be obligate parasites of the nematodes and majority of them are been considered to be facultatively saprophytic and uh, they have been used for the biological control of plant parasitic nematodes and you can find these nematodes fungi on the surface litter as well as in the decaying organic matter uh, there are certain examples see these are some examples this is stropheria rugos rugos and annulata and uh, this is coprina squamatus etc these are all some nematophagus fungi which we come across we will be going into the details of this in the coming sessions thank you for now